Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. I've got a really fun new release for you today uh, from Huda Beauty. It's her brand new addition to her Nymph collection, her Nymph highlighter, and I'm gonna flash it at you just to get you excited or as excited as I am, if possible. Um, but let's first talk a little bit about Huda's Nymph collection and when it started and what it means. The Nymph collection was introduced, oh, a few seasons ago now. And it started with, I have one here in Luna and one in Aphrodite. It started with the this line of products, which was a, a liquid highlighter and shine for the body, especially for the legs. And that's where we get the acronym Nymph, N-Y-M-P-H. It originally stood for not your mother's pantyhose or not your mama's pantyhose, depending <laughs> upon how formal you want to be. But that's where the acronym NYMPH comes from. Um, and these, here's the Luna shade. These would rub onto either the shoulders or mostly the legs to kind of give a coverage to the legs, um, not dissimilar to pantyhose. And they have a really pleasant um, coconut scent. Um, let me show you the other. I had picked up two at the time. Here's uh, Aphrodite. This one's slightly darker. Slightly more bronze, I should say. And, you know, there was a few more selections of um, shades from the lighter shade that's almost too light for me to this shade, which looks about right for my kind of tan arm. It's Aphrodite. And again, a very pleasant um, coconut type scent to them as well. And again, not your mother's pantyhose. So I found it a little bit strange that the new powder highlighter went with the not your mama's pantyhose um, kind of line because to me, you know, you, this is an all over highlighter in powder form, but I thought, you know, pantyhose don't really go on your face unless it's like a bank heist or something. I don't know, but at any rate, she did introduce it, it is part of the Nymph line, and I believe she felt it went with the Nymph line because it is supposed to be an all over highlighter. So you could go ahead and hit your legs or your arms um, or your shoulders or anything like that. I don't think I normally do my arms, but it, it worked just for swatching purposes. So let's take another look at this baby because it is remarkably beautiful. First of all, it is quite large, quite large. Um, in one of my other videos, I showed the Charlotte Tilbury uh, cheek and lip glows in the palm of my hand because they were so tiny. And this, I mean, it's pretty much bigger than my hand. And although I have a small hand um, with a lot of body glimmer on it right now, um, that'll let you know the size that you are getting here. But it is really the true beauty of the, of the highlighter in and of itself. Um, they're calling this Flora. So that must mean that she might have some other um, shades or tones coming out soon. I am guessing this is not the only one. So let's take a look at this. I left this part of my arm bare so we can kind of, you know, I don't even think this isn't an overspray, by the way, it's a highlighter. So it's the whole thing. Wowza, so there it is on my finger. It really does look like the powder version of what I just showed you guys um, in the liquid form, doesn't it? Let's take a look at it on my arm. Let's see if we can get a good swatch. Oh yeah, sure we can. Can you guys see that? Let me move around a little bit. It is an interesting, it has an interesting shift to it. Just like in the pan, we see pinks, we see golds, we see rose colors, and even kind of champagne-y kind of whitish colors. Let me see if I can get, did that swatch come out for you, princesses? Yeah, it did, didn't it? Well, let's waste no time and put the bad boy on, the bad girl on, I should say. So I have everything done here. I am wearing a, I wanna say full face of Huda, but I don't have a ton of Huda products. I, I buy Huda intermittently when she interests me. I don't just buy everything. These are the, um, the melt and the matte and melt eye, liquid eye um, shadows, and they're really pretty. And then of course I have her Huda Legit Lashes Mascara on. So let's try this together, shall we? I will turn my mirror here. Pardon my mirror. Sometimes it makes a little bit of a light dancing on my face. That is not the highlighter. Now it kicks up a little bit. 
definitely kicks up a little bit, which I find Huda's powder shadows do too. So that's not unlike Huda. Let's get this on. Whoa. Can you see it? Let me move this mirror away to make sure it's not making a... Can you guys... Is it picking up? Yeah, it is. Woo-ha! Let's stick it on the other side. Was that an appropriate cowgirl type noise to make with a... That is a highlighter, folks. <laughs> Jeez. You know, it's funny. I try so many highlighters with you guys. And every time I go, wow! You know, and, and lately I have been really experimenting with these... Um, with these kind of gel-like and almost petroleum-like ones from Patrick Ta and Becca. And um, it's been, it feels like it's been a minute since I've tried a powder highlighter. And there, there ain't nothing like it, is there? Wow. Now this is all over, so, you know, theoretically, <laughs> you could get your decolletage with it if you were wearing something that called for that. You know, why not, theoretically? Um, this is gorgeous. Let me see if it picks up any texture because I do have some texture on this area of my face. You know, um, to be honest with you, a teeny bit. It's a highlighter. It's what they do. They highlight. Um, but actually, this thing is so blingy. Is that even an okay word to use anymore? It's so bright and it's so crystalline that it's almost detracting from any texture in a way rather than drawing attention to it because you have to put on sunglasses to even look at it. This is absolutely gorgeous. And the fun thing about it is it's not an overspray and it looks like it's gonna take me a while to wear away this gorgeous rose flower that's in it. This is a lovely little product. You can put any size brush in here if you were going to do your shoulders or again, if it's part of the Nymph collection, it should also go onto legs. You could stick a big old brush in here and just go around and get your legs and get, that would actually be quite pretty for summer um, with some white shorts and heels. Think about what we could do with this uh, from a fashion perspective. Plus it's just beautiful in general. This is going to be a welcome addition to my collection, princesses. It's really pretty. And I'd like to do a get ready with me video where we play with this even a little more. But as for today, I am leaving this on. This is absolutely beautiful. And I think um, pretty much the crowning, crowning glory of the Nymph collection. Um, this, is, this is very, very pretty. Did you order yours? It's newly out. Has yours arrived yet? And if not, um, did this video make you think twice about it? Let me show you how pretty it is again. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Give this product a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have not subscribed, please do. I would love to have your support. And uh, comment below. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.